What's up, gang? This Lee Lee TV, man, for the one that don't know. Get in tune. We back once again. Arlette. Know she doing her thing. Go support her channel. I think this the best pop to blow on out. The most mature one. Baddies of the baddies. You know. Let me stop on that. But, you know, they got the... She, I feel like she has the best of the best women on there. The best men. I'm not into the... Yeah, but you know, I like what I like, which is women. I, I prefer women. I love women, but I'm not down to no one for what they like or choose. Uh, Maybe I'm ranting and I'm rumbling. Anyway, let's get into this, man. Next single guy. Hello, welcome in. What's your name? Uh, my name is... Uh no pop balloons let's start there so he might got a chance what y'all think let's see uh james moore james what do you do uh i work in software and it right now okay and how old are you 35. 35 very nice all right uh what are some things you like to do for fun uh hang out with friends um i kind of am into gaming so okay. a little bit of that uh i do like music music production um, I'm pretty spontaneous, so, uh, lately this year I went, um, to Thailand for two months. Mm. Uh, yeah, so I'm pretty open to, like, doing fun stuff, but just kind of kicking back, taking it easy. I okay. do like to work out a lot, so fitness is a thing for me. Got it. Yeah. Uh, what are some things to look for in a woman? Um, pretty much just chill, down to earth, um, kind, nice, kind of, a just as herself, really involved in what she um, wants to do for career-wise work, like, mm -hmm. you know, has something she's passionate about mm -hmm. um, as well. I kind of find that that kind of motivates me about the things that I'm passionate about as well. Okay. So, yeah, off Got the top it. of my head, I could think that's what it would be. Uh, and what are some deal breakers? <sighs> deal breakers. Um, <laughs> so I would say kids, but the thing is I'm not against kids because I have homegirls and friends that have children. Mm -hmm. um, the thing is for me is that, the girl that I get together with, um, I want to have a family with, so I kind of want to start from the beginning. So that's probably the reason why I would mention that. Okay. And then someone that's kind of just honestly like not not kind, mm. I think is kind of the things I could really mention. So I don't mean to interrupt, but let me get an understanding of what he's looking for. He's looking for a woman that's above 30 years old with no kids and he's 35 does do he have kids and if you 35 with no kids i'm i'm just going to continue to watch i don't want to make no assumptions you come on let's let's get in it But I do believe that at 35, you should at least have one to two kids at the minimum. I'm, I mean, 35, you're damn. You're, you're almost, it's almost over with for you. I mean, I'm 32. I got one child, you know, but I'm just saying. Okay. Yeah. All so. right. So we did get a pop down there. Let's go on over there and see why they ended up popping. All right, we can have your name and age. Hi, I'm Zola Stone. I'm 31. Okay. And uh, Zola Stone, why did you end up popping your balloon? Um, I feel like we have a lot in common. You know, I do music as well. I'm a recording artist. But I feel like you probably want a girl that's more, like, clean. clean why, are you, why are you assuming that? Why are you assuming? And I'm just more edgier. <laughs> yeah. You know, you probably want the clean. I definitely want me a clean woman. So I'm not going to continue to pause and stop in the middle of them talking, but I definitely want a clean woman. So she said she wasn't clean. I already had popped her balloon, but we're going to continue. Clean, classy look. I'm into the tats, and... just just looking at your appearance. So <laughs> you're kind of what I like, just just saying. I don't know. I just yeah. kind of figured, oh, he's probably not going to like the face tats on me. Or... 
you know. What made you what made you think that? He's just so like clean, like perfect. I have I have tattoos <laughs> like, as well. Very maybe too strict. I don't know. I might be too free while <laughs> like I'm sorry, I don't know. Okay. That's the vibe I get. Like he wanted yeah. classy, clean. Mm. And um I'm also a traveling exotic dancer, so okay. probably not gonna like that. All right, all right. I feel you on that. I get that. <laughs> yeah, like I don't know. <laughs> okay. It's like yeah, you got the creative there, and I'm super creative, but I might right. be too wild. <laughs> okay. okay. All right. So I know before you were like, yeah, I like the tattoos, all that. So is she someone that you type? Um, uh, everything's cool. The last part, yeah, yeah. I think I'm cool. I'm good on that. I'm good on that. No judgment though, but. No, yeah. I get it. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. My intuition. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's go over here. Your name and age? Briante, uh, 27. Okay. And why'd you end up popping your balloon? I have a beautiful son, so no thank you. Okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Now, is she someone that's your type? Yeah, she definitely would be my type. She's uh, very she attractive. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, like, I like the color of the dress you and are everything. very, yeah, it's just... Yeah, my son is everything to me. How old's your son? Just to ask. Um, he's seven. Okay. Yeah. Um, single mom, so you know I don't deal with no drama or nothing. It's just me and him. So, you know, we are like we're packaged. So if somebody doesn't accept him, then they don't get me. Mm. So yeah. I totally understand. Okay. Yeah. All right. Thank you. Let's head on back. We did get a pop right on over here. Your name and age. My name is Misha, and I'm 27. Okay. And Misha, why did you end up popping your balloon? Um, I just physically wasn't attracted. Um, you are a good looking man, no doubt about that. It's just I just wasn't physically attracted and I didn't see um, myself, you know, matching with you. Um, a little too short for you? No, it's not even the shortness. Like, it, I don't think you're short though. <laughs> so okay. I'm wearing heels right now. Okay. But um, just like, you know, your outfit and stuff, it just wasn't my vibe. So, okay. That's it. okay. All right. Now, she's someone that's your type? Uh, she, she, she's cute, but probably not someone I would really go for, honestly. And why not? Um, man, <laughs> uh, just, just not my type. Yeah, yeah mm. I, I can't, yeah. You can't pinpoint it? I can't pinpoint, I can't pinpoint <laughs> okay. it. Okay, all right, I guess we'll let him slide. <laughs> yeah, let, let it slide, let it slide, let's go. Okay, your name and age? I'm Shayna, and I'm 30. Okay, and Shayna, why did you end up popping your balloon? So you are very handsome, but physically... Just not my type. And oh. the outfit, too. Okay. What, what are you into physically? I want to know. I don't know. I don't see myself with you. Like, when I saw you, there wasn't, like, no kind of connection. Yeah. Um, but you are good looking. Like. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. He's trying Appreciate to figure it. out, is it something specific? Yeah. I want to know, like, what, what right. kind of men are you mm-hmm. into? Like, what, what, what turns you on? What gets you excited? <laughs> Just when I saw you, I didn't feel a, any kind of connection. Okay. Um, but you are good looking, so. All right. Thank you. All right, we'll let it. We'll let it slide. Yeah, well, yeah, see, we'll we let, let you slide one. Yeah. That's one slide. <laughs> your name and age. I'm Jojo, and I'm 30. Okay, and Jojo, why did you pop your balloon? Uh, the attraction just wasn't there. I like that you're into fitness because uh, I am too. But um, as I was just looking, I was like, no, the, yeah. just the attraction. Okay. Okay. That's cool. Yeah. All right. Now she's someone that's your type. Uh, yeah, yeah. I, your eyes are very beautiful. Thank you. Yeah, I like the ink as well too, and the, the dress. So, yeah, mm-hmm. probably would be someone I would. I would uh, choose, yeah. Cool. Cool. I would like to get, you know, know you more, but just off appearance, uh, yeah, I probably would choose her, yeah. Thank you. Okay, so we do still have three balloons left unpopped. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and have you ask these ladies a question, just to help you narrow it down, see who's more of your type. Hmm. All right. Um, what do you feel like has been a very positive attribute and the men that you've dated that has been kind of like something that's been brought up over time? Okay, let's start over here. When they, okay, okay, chat. Do y'all think that was a good question? I mean, he on the spot. It's hard to think when you're on the spot sometimes with certain individuals, you know, they fold under pressure or they, uh, it's like steam on a pot. You know, under pressure, sometimes they just crack and get to leaking. But uh, 
Me personally, I don't think I even be worried about your past. I'm 35. Uh, you for me, you for me. I don't really care about your past. We both have a history. You know, I mean, it's all about the future and what you're doing right now to better yourself. Have you bettered yourself? Are you bettering yourself? Things of that nature. But let's continue to see how these women answer. Here, your name and age and the answer to his question. Hi, I'm Deja Marie, I'm 33. And do you mean a positive attribute within myself or within the partners I typically choose? Yeah, your personality. My personality. Yeah. Um, I would say I'm very understanding. I'm very caring. Um, I'm very loyal and supportive. Um, I have a good ear to listen and um, I care about my partner's emotional well-being. So that's always been a positive in my past relationships. I like that. I like that. Let's go over here. Name, age, and the answer to this question. My name is Miriam. I'm 34. What was the question again? Because I didn't hear it. I'll rephrase it. So basically, like, what's like a positive attribute of um, that you've had people tell you uh, from like, the people that you've dated um, consistently, like about you that they've liked something about like how you are? Um, I pour into the person I'm dating. Um, I feel like I help them elevate as well. So that helps me elevate in a sense, if that makes sense. Um, I'm nice. I, I mean, I really don't know. I feel like they really don't say it. It's just more through actions. Um, it's never like, oh, well, you do this and you do that, and I like this, I like that. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, I get you. Yeah. yeah. All right, thank you. And then we got one more. All right, your name and age and the answer to this question. Hi, I'm Tanaya. I'm 27. Um, I would say a positive attribute from past partners is that I'm naturally genuine. Um, and nurturing. Um, I do have um, an ear to listen to. Um, I don't know if that makes sense, but um, yeah, and then I always smile, and I think that's a really positive attribute that my partners, past partners would say. I always smile. That's cool. All right, let's head on back. Okay, so I am going to hand you a pick. You are gonna have to pop one of these ladies' balloons, just based off of what you've heard, what you've seen, all that good stuff, so let me hand that over. There you go, and then just go ahead and pop one of theirs. This is horrible. <laughs> Take offense, don't take offense. Click that link in the bio, y'all. Oh, uh, man. Now it's time for him to make a decision. Decision, decision, decisions. All of those, those ladies, all of them, that's what I said at first for the ones that couldn't understand what I said because sometimes I talk a little fast or maybe you're listening slow. But anyway, all of them, all of them, bad. They look good. They dress nice. Uh, who would y'all pick? Uh, I probably would put a blindfold on it. Just pop, pop. Mm -hmm. Joke, sarcasm. But I already know who I go for, you know. I like my women with a little meat on their bone, you know. You know. That's all I'm going to say. In the right places. But it ain't about the shape. It's about the mindset. But let's see what he has to say and what he's thinking, what his preference is, because that's why we're here anyway. See what he like, not what I like. You know, Lee like him bad, you know. But let me stop anyway. Okay, why did we end up popping hers? She seems like a really nice person, but just, just not my speed. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Now, you did have your balloon unpopped for him. Why so? Um, I just wanted to hear more, like, physically I wasn't attractive, but I'm learning to not look at the physical, so I just wanted to kind of hear more, but we didn't match, so it's okay. <laughs> All right. It worked out. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's head on back. Okay, let me see here. I'm going to have you ask the ladies a question, and then I'll have them ask you a question. Okay, 
Um, man, we have a question I'm gonna think about. Give me a second. Okay, let's have them ask you then, right? Yeah, yeah, okay, ask me. ladies, any questions? Down there? Okay, let's start down here. So what are your long-term goals like with the next couple of years? What do you see yourself at? Wait, my question for the ladies, my question for you two would be this. Would you pay for the first date? Um, continue working, uh, investing, kind of like really setting money aside. Um, in the long run, I want to like live abroad, so possibly buy properties in Asia, Mexico, um, invest in businesses. I kind of want to open like a laundromat up. I'm kind of really wanting to just kind of get up like residual income. Okay. Um, that sort of thing, really. That's kind of like in the forefront and of course meet someone that I could kind of establish a relationship with and uh, start a family. Yeah. Okay. What would that look like in, in the midst of all that? Because that seems like that's a lot for... I don't think it's too much. I think you're going to work and just, you know, money comes in time so you can mm -hmm. allocate finances and just do what you need to do and then meet that person and kind of build upon that and get to know them and, you know, go in the right direction that, you know, hopefully they're both, you both are on the same page. So, okay. yeah, that's kind of how I see it. Okay. Yeah. That's my question. All right. <laughs> okay. Any questions over here? Um, yes. Are you, how do you feel about long distance relationships or where are you, where do you live? I stay in LA right now, Los Angeles. Uh, I've never done a long. Um, uh, I don't mean to be rude, but I don't think he mean residual income. Uh, residual means remaining after the great part or quality has done or quantity has gone. Okay. With that being said, okay, y'all go look it up for yourself on your own, on your own time. I'm saying, don't talk about my phone either. But uh, what I'm saying is, I think he meant passive income. That's what a lot of us is. A lot of us do this for passive income. I'm not a financial expert, so don't quote me on the things I say about finances. But uh, residual income. And passive income are two totally different things. Look it up on your own and tell me which one would you rather have. I'm going with the passive. Continue. Long distance relationship. So I'm 50-50 about it. I don't know if I can give a yes or no, but I feel like if it's the right person, I think that, yeah, it's probably worthwhile. Yeah. And where are you? I know you say he's LA. I'm in Wisconsin. Okay. So we would be quite away. I've I've never been to Wisconsin. Actually, I think I have been once to like a Wendy's or something like that. <laughs> I was like 15, <laughs> but I haven't really been in Wisconsin. I've never been to LA either. So. Oh, you gotta you gotta come to LA. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So, if you're ready to pop, you can pop. Or if you have another question, you can ask the ladies another question. Um. What do you ladies look for in a guy? Like, what, what are you looking for? What's the situation? Okay. I'm looking for someone that's um, ready to be committed in a committed relationship. I don't want to waste time anymore. I'm 33, so I don't want to interact with situationships that are just going to pass the time. I want something more long-term where I can get to know someone on a deeper level um, and really build that friendship to where we can work towards, you know, a marriage or starting our own family. Um, I just don't want to deal with anyone if they're just to pass the time. And I would hope someone is ready to commit in that way as well, or at least work towards that type of commitment. Okay. I understand. Let's go down here. So I'm looking for someone that I can build with, um, someone that I can call my best friend, but also my lover. Um, also someone that is committed and that wants a family and wants marriage because family is everything to me. So I want somebody that's really grounded in that and grounded in faith. It doesn't have to be a certain denomination, but have to believe in something. Okay. Sounds good. Yeah. All right. 
It's time to pop. Gotta pop one of their balloons. This is hard. I know, I know. They're amazing ladies. <laughs> Where's my toothpick? You lost it? Oh, all right. Okay, um, there we go. <laughs> I can't make a decision. Yes, Honestly. you can. <laughs> no, no, I, no, I can't. No, I can't. Um... Oh, 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 all right. <laughs> so why do we end up popping hers? I saw it was really, really, really tough. So what made you decide? Honestly, it was really, really tough. I, I think you both are great. I think all the ladies are actually pretty great. Um, I wish I could have a little more time to get to know you. Um, your response on the last question I felt was kind of rushed and I, I get what you were saying because mm -hmm. um, time is like really important. Mm -hmm. So that's kind of why the reason was. Uh, I felt she was a little more calm and madder about it. You uh, mean like rushing to a relationship or rush in what regard? Just the energy. Like, I get what you were saying, but mm -hmm. I felt like it was real kind of like, just like, man, we got to like do this now, you know? Okay. So, <laughs> yeah. Okay. All right. Thank you. Okay. So, basically, he was saying he, didn't, he don't want to be rushed into anything or forced. He don't want to feel forced into a relationship or... That's why he didn't choose her. Okay. I was thinking. What I was thinking. Let's come on up here. Come on up. Come on up. All right. So I have a final question. If you guys are all good. No. Oh, no way. No, you can go. You can go. Oh, <laughs> I said no way. Okay. So <laughs> is it going to be a yes for you for him? Yes. Is it a yes for you for her? Yeah. We got a match! And that's that. They done matched it up. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. Black love. Y'all see that? Black excellence at its finest. Yeah. If you don't have nothing good to say, keep it to yourself. That's what they used to tell me in a way. Hey, man. What y'all think about this? Y'all think he had game, Riz? Y'all think he was a simp? Y'all think them ladies are beautiful? Y'all think they ugly? Y'all think they out of shape? Y'all think they got big feet? What do you think? Let me know in the comment section below, man. Like this thing up. Strike this thing up. Shout out to my boy, Hot Boy Major, too, man. He over there doing his thing. Uh, next time on Lee TV. You did. We out, Joe.